Hi everyone, my name is Abby. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you aren't new. Today I have got a makeup video for you, which terrifies me, if I'm being honest. I'm not a makeup guru, I'm not a makeup artist. I have literally self-taught myself how to do makeup. And I feel like I've self-taught myself to like a point where I'm happy. I'm not very good at, at makeup in general, but I enjoy doing makeup and I enjoy playing with new makeup. And I still feel, even though I'm not very good at it, it might still be fun to do a makeup video, just as like, a normal person with no extra talent doing makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna give it a go, which is why I'm looking a little bit odd right now. I have got my face makeup on and my eyebrow makeup, but I've got no eye makeup or any lip makeup, which is making me feel very, uh, very weird, but it's okay, because we're gonna go slap some on now. Today I am testing out and showing you the ColourPop and Zoella brunch date makeup, which I'm really excited about. I didn't get the whole kit, I only got three things. I love ColourPop as a brand, I always have done. Their makeup is so good. It's so affordable. The only issue is we've been in the UK is that it has to get shipped here and you get custom charges sometimes and it can take a little bit of a while. If they ever build a UK warehouse or whatever I will be jumping for joy because it's actually one of the best makeup brands on the market that I have tried and I adore it. So when I heard they were doing a collaboration with Zoella, Zoe Zark, I kind of, I knew I was going to jump on it. I love Zoe. She's the reason pretty much I started this. She was one of the first blogs and YouTubes I ever discovered and started to watch so I kind of feel like I owe it to her to kind of support what she's doing. Probably Probably a good idea to show you the products first as well. So this is the brunch date palette. I love this packaging. It's so cute. It's so Zoe and so ColourPop as well. It's really on point for both brands. There we go. Without trying to blind you by reflecting off the light. So this is what the palette looks like. It's a very neutral palette, but then you've got this beautiful sapphire blue here. You've got some pinks in here, lighter colors. It's kind of got like your basic neutrals, which is great. And then you kind of got a little bit more of a standout shade, which is quite interesting. The shimmer shades here look so gorgeous I'm really excited to try them so that is what the palette looks like the lip bundles come packaged like this which I think is really cute so I got two of the lip bundles I believe there's three lip bundles that you can get I got the give up the gloss lip bundle which has self love club ultra matte lip in there and bossy lip pencil and then I also got the what happens at brunch lip bundle which has at me ultra matte lip and Oh snap lip pencil. So let's have a look inside. Give up the gloss lip bundle is the red one. I love a red power lip. You know, just that statement red lip that, you know, you don't need to do anything else to your face if you don't want to. You can just put on a red lip and it just oh, looks great. I always feel great wearing a red lip. They are packaged as the normal ColourPop packaging. What happens at brunch is the pink lip bundle. There is a more nude one. It doesn't actually look as pink in here as I think it did on the website, but that could just be me. Yeah, let's just get started in shall we all the colors are quite dark so in my head i'm like where do i start oh i still got the plastic over the mirror i'm just gonna get that off don't you just find that really satisfying i love doing that i love doing it on my phone screen as well so all the colors are quite dark with the exception of champagne champagne toast which almost reminds me of a highlighty shade i think if i were to put that on my lid it would be slightly too light so i'm going to start with maple syrup it's like a, a warm matte brown i have tried ColourPop eyeshadows before but the weird mousse texture one I haven't tried any of their powder products and I'm just gonna dump this wow the makeup bruhu in the crease it's quite pigmented but what I like about it is that there's no fall down straight away it's not even very chalky in here which is really good it's kind of blending quite nicely on there what I actually kind of missing from this palette which I noticed straight away is like just a plain neutral shade I know that a lot of palettes come with that so probably if you're creating a palette you might be thinking well most palettes come with that kind of color and it doesn't suit everyone so it might not be needed but I think if you want to make a palette that you can just take one eyeshadow palette with you when you're traveling or doing whatever then it's always I think a nice neutral shade is always essential I really kind of like that so I want to darken that up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take Mimosa here, which is essentially the warmer and darker version of maple syrup. Just in the outer corner. I don't take it in because if I start to take darker colours in my eye, that's when I notice that my eye starts to look a lot smaller than it actually is. Then what I do when I do come to blending it is I'll just blend the whole thing together. So it's not like light colour, dark colour. It's like blended. <laughs> 
Honestly, if I don't win an award for makeup guru of the year, I have been robbed. Okay, happy with that? What to use for a lid colour? Like I say, I'm doing a red lip, so I don't want to go too crazy crazy here. What I do to get a really accurate and, you know, crazy pigmented lid colour is just put a little bit of concealer on my lid, just a little bit, and then just blend it out with my finger. I find that this helps glitter shadows to stick a little bit more. So I'm going to take sunny side up all over the lid. I don't think it's going to go very well with a red lip. Oh god, these are powdery, okay. But I just want to see how this colour looks quite nice it's very light pink <laughs> i don't notice as, as i'm patting the brush on my face it's kind of flying everywhere if that makes sense got a tiny little bit of fall down now so that is sunny shine up so what i'm going to do is then over the top of that take skinny latte which makes me very happy this shade what i'm going to do is take that into the out of corner okay yeah i'm definitely noticing a little bit more fall down now that is really really pretty if i just come a little bit closer blend 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 so now I'm going to use Champagne Toast. It looks like it's going to be a nice highlighting colour under the brow bone and in the inner corner. And just a little tiny brush. I really like a good inner corner highlight because hooded eyes, it helps to open up my eye make them look so much more bigger. So I do like my inner corner highlight to be quite intense, which actually this isn't too bad. I can take that, I can do that. It's cool that I feel like I don't need to reach for another palette for highlight. I feel like I've gone very shimmer heavy, which I quite like, and I think it might create nice balance with the matte red lip. So if I show you the eyeshadow now, I will do the rest of my eye makeup and tie the whole look together. All I've done there is stick on some eyeliner and then a little bit of mascara and then some lashes. I really like that eyeshadow look. Got that warmth there, but when you then look down, you've got the beautiful cool pink. So now to try out the lip kit. I haven't ever used ColourPop's lip liners before. I've used their Ultra Matte Lip, which I already know that I love. The lip liner is going to be really interesting. I haven't actually used this and it's got white bits on it. I don't know if you could. Wow, um, Beauty Guru Essential here. I don't even know if you could see that, but it's got white bits on it, which is like scaring me but i'm gonna be brave i'm gonna take one from the team and give it a go red lip liner terrifies me but we're gonna we're gonna try lip liner thoughts i was definitely right in my thinking they are very wow i look great they are very similar to the kylie jenner ones creamy but not soft that you're gonna like smash it what but not too hard that you're dragging they're really really creamy so now we're gonna go in with self love club i really like the name of all these products and hope that i don't mess it up slightly can tell it's gonna go on my teeth not bad that has dried down pretty quickly I really like this colour. This is like my perfect red. Really easy to put on. It didn't go streaky. They re they sit really nice on the lips. They are a little bit drying. I think that all matte lips are. I think it's hard to get a lip product that is fully matte that isn't going to dry out a little bit. That will be like revolutionary when it does happen. And I fully welcome people to try. But it's not uncomfortable. It's bold. It's a true red. It's Zoella. Zoella loves these kind of colours, which is nice. It's a nice reflection of her. I don't think it would be a Zoe collection without a red or a berry in there so i really like that she's gotten for a red whenever i need to feel a little bit like confident whenever i want to like kind of put myself out there i wear a red lip so i've tried many of my time and i really like this one that matte lip has gone on so nicely as well so far that all gets a thumb up from me but i'm excited to try a little bit of a dark look I'm going to get this off and let's go over to look number two. Okay, it is time for look two. We're going for a nude pinky lip this time. So I'm thinking let's have some fun on the lid. So I'm going to go in with maple syrup again, just because it's a kind of like the only warm toned transition color in this palette. Once again, just applying this in the crease to create quite a nice warm base. What I'm going to do now is take French Toast. This is such a dark shade, so I'm a little bit scared. I'm just going to take this, just like I did last time, in the outer corner. What I'm going to do is just keep adding that French Toast shade until I'm kind of happy with how dark it is. I'm happy with that crease colour, so now I want to start working on the lid. So once again, just going to use concealer in the middle of the lid and blend it out. So on the lid, I am going to use cinnamon sugar. This looks so nice. Bronze with some gold speckles in there. This is like one of my favourite shades. I'm happy with that because these are the colour shades I do always use. I'm just going to push it all over the lid. 
gonna just blend that into the crease shade so it's a little bit more transitional as opposed to just being a block bit of shimmer that color is gorgeous though it reminds me of a lot of the color in nars is load ice load which is an old favorite palette of mine with two shadows in it i really want to use sunday fun day which is this beautiful pink color so what i'm gonna do i'm taking a smaller brush kind of pushing into that pink color and what i'm gonna do is take that onto the middle of the lid i don't know how it's gonna look interesting but i'm actually kind of liking the pink i don't know what it's doing what it's achieving but i don't know i quite like it over the top we're going to do some blending another shade that i really want to use is brunch club i don't think blue will suit me in any single way at all but i'm going to try it and what i'm going to do is take it underneath the eye which is how i'm pretty sure i saw zoe wear it in one of the promotional photos for this and i'm going to take this blue which is so dark under the eye Okay, I feel like I've got nothing against the blue. It's quite a nice blue. Oh, I've got more on that side. I just don't think it suits me. So what I'm gonna do is leave the eyeshadow there for now. I'm gonna put my eyeliner on, my mascara on, and lashes on as normal, and then see how I feel about it. Because like, at the moment, this blue is just making me look like ill. So the second that I put eyeliner and mascara on, I already started to feel a little bit better about the blue. And now that I have got lashes on as well, I quite like it. I'm not sure how me it is. What's on the lid, I really like. I kind of like the pink with that bronze. It kind of adds a new dimension to it and it catches the light quite nicely. But the blue kind of adds something a little bit fun, which I think is quite cute. I, yeah, I don't know how well I pull it off personally, but I actually quite like the blue. So now it's time to finish off the look with the What Happens at Brunch lip kit, which I'm really excited for. Because realistically, this is probably going to be the one that I would wear most days. So first impressions is I feel like it's a lot less pink than how it looked in the original promotional images. I know that those images you should always take with a pinch of salt because obviously they've got like huge studio lights, they're in like a, you know, a big studio, they're, they're doing it all properly. Whereas then when you apply it just in your bedroom with like your natural lighting or whatever, I do feel like they look a little bit different. But I feel like this is definitely more nude. It's still a nice colour. I, st I definitely still would wear this. The finish is nice though and like I said with all Colourpop lippies I've tried before, it does feel quite comfortable on the lips. The lip liner was really nice with that one. I think the cream lip liners definitely work better with more nude shades as opposed to the darker ones but yeah i like it i actually really like this look there we go those were two looks with the zoella and colourpop collaboration makeup i really really like it i feel like for me it isn't a daily kind of every day i would pick this up palette i would think i pick this up if i'm looking for something a little bit more fun and impactful but i really like it i'm really happy with the like the texture of the shadows the pigmentation i'm really really impressed and it definitely makes me want to jump on the colourpop pop site again and have a little look at their palettes i'm not going to as i don't have any money but when i get paid i will be there i really like the collection the lip bundles are just what i expected them to be they're really nice in texture and they are something that i would reach for i think next time that i want to wear a red lip i'm going to be inclined to reach for that one it's so so nice i love ColourPop quality and i really do recommend it even if you are in the uk it's still quite affordable and you can get free shipping over a certain amount if i can kind to do it if i can use the eyeshadow palette and create something a little bit more fun then i think everyone can like i said i'm no makeup guru and i'm not very good at makeup i wish i was so that's all for this week i really hope that you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did please subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you here next friday at 7 p.m for a brand new video bye